how to choose the right brushes for painting with acrylics, watercolors, oil paints and mixed media. In today's video, hello and a very warm welcome to today's video. Media. In today's video, I'm going to take you through some quick tips to select the right brushes to paint with your chosen uh, medium. Uh, something that I see frequently amongst my students is um, that they turn up to class with the wrong type of brushes and end up with utter frustration when the colors don't look right or the paints uh, don't go as needed onto the surface that they want to paint on. So I have here a selection of uh, student grade brushes. That is something that I um, recommend to my students and I'll also tell you uh, some of the pros and cons of these brushes that I have in front of me. Of course, I'm based in Australia, but in the country that you are based in, there might be some other local brands which are better. But the tips and tricks that I teach you in this video, it will help you to go to your local shops and select the brushes that are relevant to the medium that uh, you want to paint with. And the three mediums that um, the uh, video today covers are acrylics, watercolors, oil paints and mixed media as I mentioned before. Okay, so let's look at the first type of brushes. Now before I start talking about brushes, one thing to note is that brushes are available in natural as well as artificial fibers. Something that professional artists or many art teachers would recommend is to go for a natural fibers such as squirrel mop or which is used commonly in watercolors or uh, goat hair brushes uh, referred to as hake brushes or hog bristle brushes commonly used in oil painting now if you're somebody like me i don't like to use uh, brushes with uh, animal hair i'd like to uh, have a practice that's much more kinder to the environment and sentient beings so i prefer using uh, synthetic bristle brushes but it's a matter of personal choice uh, you could try out different brushes before you decide and make up on your mind on which brushes work the best for you okay so let's look at uh, the typicalities of acrylic painting brushes now what I have here, if you notice, are brushes of different brands and make. Um, this one is one of my favorites. It's actually a brand that's been designed by Crayola. Uh, these are all synthetic brushes. Um, this one is referred to as Staclon. Now see with acrylic, acrylic paints are water soluble. Some of them are thick, referred to as impasto paints, and some of them are more fluid, used for uh, fluid art, uh, sorry, folk art. So the brushes accordingly have bristles that are soft, and uh, they are made in a way that they would lift off acrylic paint and you can apply it properly on canvases or canvas sheets. So these are uh, Taclon brushes. They are also referred to as synthetic brushes. Look at the stiffness of the brush and how they bend. Now I'm going to show you the same uh, test you need to now when you go to the shops it may not be possible to touch the brushes but mostly you'll see that these are colored like in a yellow brown uh, color okay the only exception to the rules are some synthetic brushes which are uh, white in color now my brushes don't look white because they are very used and they have some uh, color pigmentation they've been discolored by use with uh, many years of acrylic paints but you'll find some synthetic brushes are also white. Uh, they do vary in the stiffness. So this one is a bit more stiffer than these brushes here. See how they bend. So I'm going to hold it like that so you can see. See how they bend. And then this one, it's more stiff. So depending on whether you're using a thick acrylic paint or a thin one, the more flexible synthetic brushes are best for um, the fluid paints, but you can use them for thicker paints as well. Uh, you will need in your stash both types of brushes, some, uh, some more flexible than the others. OK, 
okay now one thing you'll notice is that the handles of these brushes are all different some are longer and some are smaller now this really depends on um, the size of your painting for really large pieces of work and for where you want to cover larger sections you see how these brushes are big and thick compared to these really fine ones so these are for fine details the smaller handle brushes small uh, smaller canvases finer details um, you can use them for bigger works as well end of the day it's how you paint uh, the way you hold your brushes that will define the handles okay um did i miss anything okay the next medium that i'm going to the next type of brush that i'm going to show you is watercolor brushes now watercolor brushes are way uh, softer and way flexible than um acrylic brushes okay you do get synthetic watercolor brushes as well which is what these are these this these aren't uh, animal fiber okay they are short haired synthetic brushes this one though is a squirrel mop brush i didn't buy it just to be uh, clear on that i got it as a gift uh, but my preference is for um, artificial synthetic brushes they are really soft the reason being watercolor is a very delicate medium it dissolves with water it's very wishy-washy if you've ever seen a watercolor painting um uh, it's literally like a fluid gentle medium and to lift watercolors you need brushes that are ultra ultra soft see how they flex all the way and see how they spread out now these brushes are really cheap brushes i recommend them for students who are just starting off and who don't have a budget um, but they do give out bristles which is something that uh, that's not preferable you need brushes that do not release bristles into your painting but for just watercolor medium i make an exception and uh, do recommend these brushes to my uh, students the reason being watercolors once they are dry you can lift off it is easier to lift off any loose bristles that come off of course if that's not preferable if that's not what you want you could go for the better well-known brands such as Winsor and Newton uh, to buy quality professional grade watercolor brushes uh, the bristles loosening and coming off on your paintings it's not preferable for acrylics and oils and the reason is they are much uh, thicker gooier mediums and if you try uh, lifting off any of those loose uh, uh, bristles from your canvas you're going to end up spoiling your painting which is why it's not recommended even if it is wet painting i prefer quality acrylic and oil brushes with watercolors i am a little bit lax in my rules uh, for my own practice but i do explain that there are choices depending on your budget on the type of uh, brushes that you could buy so um uh, yeah if you have a budget then go for a better brand of watercolor brushes if not these ones would just work just fine it's a Montmartre brand and they have an extensive range of products for uh, from really uh, low budget or inexpensive items for children school children to uh, more uh, quality kind of materials for professional artists so uh, you could hop on to just google out Montmartre. I'm not an affiliate with them at the time of shooting this video But it's something worth checking out if it's available uh, in your country or place of uh, living Okay, so the next type of brush that I'm going to talk about is oil painting brushes now With oil paints as I mentioned before it's always preferable to use brushes that are sound and won't um, ah. <laughs> rubber band got stuck and won't leave bristles onto your canvas while painting but these are made these brushes let me just show you these brushes have really oh, that's a bit of rust coming out these brushes have really stiff bristles really stiff ones and the reason for that they are really prickly when you touch them the reason for that is oils as a medium is thick it's not water washable 
and it's almost like thick toothpaste and you need to thin it down with different kind of kinds of mediums now to make the oil paints work you need a brush that's uh, stiff enough to sort of mix and apply make the paint more workable and that's where hog bristle brushes come in now this one is a natural hog bristle brush again something that was given to me but most of my brushes are um, synthetic ones i do have synthetic oil painting brushes which um which are quite they look similar to the acrylic ones i don't have them for the video here i will post a, a image of them in, uh, in the comment section but they they look almost similar to the synthetic acrylic brushes and they can be used with acrylics as well but they are too stiff to be used with watercolors so that's another tip for you when you go shopping you could ask for brushes that work for both oils and acrylics if you're working with the two mediums together in your art practice or you could ask for brushes that work with both um acrylics and watercolors okay so oh i forgot to change the page so we are looking at oil paint brushes so um okay now another thing that you would notice is that oil paint brushes have really long handles okay generally the way we work with oil paints it, it requires that we maintain some distance while we are painting um, and uh, there's a reason for that my personal reason is that the different mediums even if it is odorless mediums for oil painting they do emit odor and fumes uh, and it's preferable that you maintain a little bit of distance while painting with oils plus oil paints are extremely sticky and hard to clean if they get it if you get it onto your hands or clothing so the preferred way to work with oil paint is with brushes which which have long handles right now let's look at brushes that are best for mixed media now as i just mentioned mixed media it covers infinite possibilities of combinations so some artists combine oils uh, with acrylics while others like myself i love combining um, acrylics with oil pastels and pens posca pen markers paint markers etc but some mixed media artists uh, uh, have combinations where they use inks uh, with watercolors and acrylics okay uh, amongst uh, other types of pens like gel pens and soft liners and things like that so coming back to brushes uh, there are some brushes which are perfect for use with watercolors and acrylics in mixed media projects now what that means is traditionally watercolor brushes are a typical watercolor brush is designed to pick up pigment as well as load or lift off or suck in a lot of water okay but when you buy a brush that is designed for acrylic paints as well as watercolors so basically mixed media you're going to be looking at brushes like this one this is a synthetic brush okay this is a synthetic brush now it, it is designed to work with both acrylics and watercolors but in mixed media we do not use a lot of water to make the uh, paints flow we are essentially just using uh, watercolors to fill up uh, areas or maybe create details and doodles which is where you don't need the brush to lift off a lot of water so uh, when you go shopping you could ask the store owner or if it's from an online store just go to the search function and look for brushes that work for both acrylics and watercolors if you are planning to create a mixed media with these two mediums okay and these synthetic brushes they also work well with inks there are different kinds of inks i'll leave it to you to do your research but what i use in my mixed media work is uh, acrylic inks i use liquitex and these brushes just work fine with that i also have in my stash alcohol inks and i absolutely love them these synthetic brushes uh, work well with alcohol inks as well okay so let's go through the tips that i just mentioned for all of these brushes here one thing to do the first thing to do is check on the packaging what type of brush it is 
um, generally on the packaging they will mention if the brush has been designed for watercolors acrylics oil paints and so on and so forth uh, usually oil paint brushes are stiffer they uh, if they are made from natural fibers they look sort of like this off white white and if you do get the opportunity to check the stiffness of the bristles possibly if you are buying second hand pre-loved uh, art materials you will be able to check the stiffness they are really stiff and rigid and uh, that will help you determine if the brush is designed for oil paints or not synthetic brushes meant for acrylics are softer than hog bristle or oil paint brushes some of them can be used for both oil paints as well as acrylics again check the packaging if it's a brush that works for both of those mediums then there are brushes for watercolors which is the softest of all the three types of brushes they are meant to lift the watercolor pigment and be loaded with lots of water so you are able to paint with watercolors it's a typicality of the way one uses watercolor medium and hence the brushes are nice and soft they are the softest and the most flexible of all these type of brushes okay so those are my tips for selecting brushes for watercolors, acrylics and oil paints. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please do leave me a comment on what else you would like to learn about uh, painting with acrylics, oils or watercolors or mixed media. If I do not have the information, I will go out and look for it and bring it to you. Bye for now.